The test for limb ataxia, item 7, is an assessment for evidence of a unilateral cerebellar lesion. This test attempts to distinguish a clinically significant incoordination from general weakness. Perform the finger-nose-finger -finger and heel-shin tests on both the right and left sides. Ask the patient to touch your finger with his index finger, then back to his nose, then repeat enough times to thoroughly test for ataxia. Then perform the test on the other side. Then test coordination in the leg. Instruct the patient to move one heel down and up the shin of the opposite leg. Give the same test on both the right and left sides of the body. Test the normal side first. Make sure the patient's eyes are open. In the event of a visual field defect, try to perform the test in the intact visual field. The next thing I'd like to do is check your coordination. Take your finger here and touch my finger. Now touch your nose. Now my finger, now your nose. Now my finger, now your nose. Good. Now on the other side, I don't know what we'll be able to do, but see if you can lift it and touch my um, finger. I can't. Can't get up that high, okay. Let's see what happens with the legs, all right? Okay. I'm gonna take your right leg. I want you to put your heel on your knee and run it down your shin. Let's see what happens. Can you bend the knee? Put your heel right there. And run it all the way down your shin and back up again. That's great, now relax. Now let me try the right leg. I'll lift it up and you put the heel on your knee and slide it all the way down. And can you slide it back up? Uh, I can do Okay, it. put it down and slide it down one last time. Very good. Okay. For scale item seven, this patient scored a zero. Let's look at how this scale item is scored. Score a zero if there is normal coordination. The movements should be well performed, smooth, accurate, and not clumsy. If there is significant weakness, assume ataxia is zero. Ataxia is scored only if present and out of proportion to weakness of the spastic limb. Ataxia is absent in the patient who cannot understand or is paralyzed, and so is scored a zero on this item. Score a one if ataxia, dysmetria, or dysenergia is present in one limb. I want you to take the heel, put it on your knee, and run it down your shin. Just take that heel and put it right there, run it down your shin, and back up. And now do the same thing on the other side. Put the heel on the knee and run it all the way down and back up. And run it all the way down to the end this time and back up. And that's terrific. Relax. Score a two if ataxia is present in two limbs, both arms, both legs, or an arm and a leg on the same side of the body. Also score a two if you observe dysmetria or dysenergia in both the arm and the leg on one side, or if there are bilateral signs. So take this finger right here and touch my finger. Now touch your nose. Now my finger. Now your nose. Now my finger. Good. Let's try that on the other side. Touch my finger as quick as you can, and now your nose. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. There we go, okay. I want you to take your um, right leg, put the heel on your knee. So lift this heel up, put it on your knee there, and just run it straight down your shin. Straight down the shin and back up. Good, good. Now switch sides and put the left heel on the knee there. Run it all the way down and back up. That's good. It's important to remember that this item is scored a one or a two only if ataxia is present and out of proportion to weakness. In the case of amputation or joint fusion, you may mark the item untestable, but make sure to write the reason on the form. Patients scoring a three on level of consciousness 1A are scored only if ataxia is present. Otherwise, give a zero.